Welcome to side quests. Uh, as our plans kind of went, I decided to make a compilation video of all the side quests on the Citadel instead of us just playing through like three hours of gameplay um, and doing a lot of running around because I thought that would be more efficient for our time. So this is the compilation video of us doing, or rather me doing side quests and Cobalt reacting to that and you're still here. Yeah, I haven't been uh, watching him play this, so this is all going to be fresh to me. One, two, three, four. <laughs> there are so many of these damn things. I spent an entire hour and a half on this one specific side quest. <laughs> it was such a pain in the butt. And you're also getting a really quick tour of the entire Citadel as a result. And that's the happy noise it plays you when you finish. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is the aftermath oh, of scanning all the keepers. Like okay. you do this side you quest next. What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. Why can't you know we you be dead? friends? Why can't he's we? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and. He started following me. He turned into a creeper. Oh, he, Yesterday, he might actually he be infatuated with you. Did you think about that? Just waiting for a <laughs> it's definitely likely. He might not be trying to kill you. He might just be a really creepy thinks. stalker. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? When I originally played through this, I thought that was actually what That's was going on. And oh. so I was like, I'll just talk to him for you. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. You're worried about a Salarian? Shorban. That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. And then you're like, oh. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good that sounds luck. like a good uh, product uh, sell. Anything's possible with Shorbin. Only nine ninety nine at your I local Walgreens. You sounds like a kind of cleaner. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... Your lies are catching up with you. We spoke with your friend, Jalid. You spoke with Jalid? Then you know about the data? Just data. tell me everything you know. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jalid and I just got a little over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jalid and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Aha. Uh -huh. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So they're both suspicious both of, of each other. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> we just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. They just both got paranoid because of the data they were just working with. So sensitive. Data mm -hmm. for me. Imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone. Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jalid. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jalid won't help me analyze it. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. More scanning? You have well, to do more? No, that's just Hello, what he says all the time. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jalid. 
Lying. Is there an option to tell him Why that, that uh, Chorbin is, like, gonna kill him and, like, he should get off the Citadel or something? Uh, uh I'm not really sure. Uh, I didn't mean Basically, for this to happen. Basically, he sends you after Chorbin, specifically so you will kill him. So I... mm. Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. Okay. I'm it did make, it did Chorbin. seem a little weird that Avolus would be worried him. about what a Solarian was gonna do to him. You're... You're helping us, but, well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Now, really quick, the path I took on that quest was different than my first playthrough. I was playing as a lawful good uh, character the first playthrough. Mm -hmm. Um, and I broke the law, basically, in that exchange, because you're not supposed to screw the Keepers yeah. at all, ever. Yeah. But, um, from, like, a chaotic good sort of standpoint, it looks like research that no one has ever done before, and the only reason that no one's allowed to scan the Keepers is because they explode when you scan them, usually. And they don't want to do that because they don't know how that's going to, like, piss off the mainframe of the Citadel, and, like, maybe the Keepers might start actually, like trying to kick everybody off the citadel yeah basically you're messing in things you're not allowed to mess in and we can't have you around anymore effectively but because they're being careful and they're using special equipment that's not a concern so i went ahead and made the jump of oh uh this probably is just gonna fine. be harmless yeah yeah so um okay presidium prophet this is a quest that appears on the way to the Citadel Tower for the first time. You can stop and deal with it. I didn't. I just skipped by it, and I was planning to come back to it later. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Oh, I know about this one. Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? A little bit about this one. Are you allowed to preach here in the Presidium? The words this unworthy one speaks are merely observations of the truth. The CSEC officer requests that this one... We can't take them seriously anymore. I... I don't remember anything about the Hanar from my playthrough in 2. The and there Perhaps was barely anything the about the Hanar in 3. So, this like, I only really got the assistant. feeling that these guys were, like, really, Just like... This one know if success is achieved. Because they would talk so that formally, Hanar I figured that they were actually the one of the more enlightened races in the galaxy. But they, they're just basically like all about the Enkindlers and Because it's a big stupid jellyfish. You have that op you have the option to say that and you can choose something else to say, or does she always say it like that? Uh, she basically always says it like that. I no, um she doesn't always say it like that. You can say something else. Okay. That's like the like, renegade sort of option. Uh, right. I've argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. I don't get why he's in trouble. Don't they have this a right only to peacefully assemble? To the they do, the but listen. they need a permit. For there is no intent ah, to cause okay. trouble. So he's trying we'll to basically to get out of buying a permit. Oh. I don't care about your intent. You're making all Hanar look like troublemaking zealots. This one does not wish to prejudice the listeners against the Hanar. If you want people's respect, you have to follow the rules. Buy the permit and stay out of here. Man, if this only all radicals could be that reasonable. It does not wish to prejudice other species against the Hanar. Then I guess they wouldn't the be called radicals. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. Yeah. Basically, the resolution of that one, I didn't feel was very renegade -y. It was basically, Happy to help. you're breaking the law, there you don't have a permit, there. please go buy yeah. one yeah. so you can actually do this. Superiors. Yeah. Pretty basic problem solution. Oh, you're gonna love this one. Oh, this one's amazing. I like it already. This is one of the longer side quests. Welcome, I am Nalina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. 
But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort. Do you to know who you. these people are before you walk in the room? What do you do? No, you so just, you're just walking in. Oh wow, uh, this is a brothel. Okay. Many of the people here today will. Not it's not really a brothel. It's to just the same. like it's extreme therapy. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's really odd. It, it it's kind of like the um the what companions exactly in uh, Firefly. Well, so okay, yeah, I can see that because the, the, the way the Asari work Some and everything. With song, others with conversation. That makes sense. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body, and relieve it. She's paid to talk <laughs> like that, isn't chances. she? <laughs> She's Excellent. like, I am going to talk as enticingly as possible to you. To see you in... <laughs> Three to four months. <laughs> yeah, four seriously. Months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll. I'd like to believe the Asari can basically else? make you feel just pure bliss. So, I I might wait three or four months for that. Shepard, on the other hand, could probably Where's go fetch her own Asari if she absolutely she needs to. Mm, yes. It's <laughs> difficult to explain. She's many. But Shepard is always the exception in any circumstance. Different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what. Hey, sorry, concert. You want to play some freaking dodgeball? You make her sound like she's <laughs> <a horrible. laughs> No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman, a woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Stop I think I'm done. Here. like that. <laughs> oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Melina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Yes, of course, mistress. Mm. You're already getting that, uh, mm. feeling. <laughs> huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I sure. go? Sure. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. I'm not gonna question it. This could be fun. Shepard's just kind of like, eh. Suddenly, suddenly putting aside her backlog of two months worth of clients for you is pretty four like, months worth. Oh yeah, four months was. Is, it was three to four. Is pretty. Uh, I'd be interested too. I'd be like, uh, what's what you gotta say? Shepard, you killed my mother. Commander. Prepare to die. Oh, God, she pulled out a pistol and you pops you in the face. <laughs> I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. What, did he want now you to he join the Marines? Days in Korra's den, drinking, or was that the army? Spreading lies about in the 90s, there was a promotional commercial where soldier, they would like be like, all that you can be. To you and let the matter be. What happened between she just starts touching you. Yeah, in the middle of this cutscene, just to talking to you, she just starts if touching you. It's probably the way she's used to interacting with people. <laughs> what exactly do you want me to tell him? She's Appeal like, that's what people do to me. I thought that's just normal. <laughs> and then she hugs you. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Now I must ask Shayu you to is kinda... I have many clients waiting to see me. <laughs> She's like, pet, hug, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it's like, you know, <laughs> if you want hell? more of this, you should do what I ask you to do. Yeah. Commander. What do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. But then why create rumors and lies about this woman? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Oraka, General of the Turian Fleet. Wow, you must have done something really stupid. Is she really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. It's, it's her, and her alone. 
Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Never let the enemy see your weakness. You know that, General. <laughs> Enemies? The one place I always felt at peace. He is sitting in the middle of Korra's now, den, basically moping and easy. crying. Just straighten up and act like a general. I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Look, Ugh. I just need you to convince him of the truth. Okay, you're just an asshole. What makes you think he'll believe me? I can no kind of see where he's coming from. Take this down well, okay, yeah, he's a bitter guy who is denied the most like awesome Shaira. feeling probably anyone in the universe could experience, and he'd be bitter. I get he? that, but... His name is Zeltan. He's a Shepard Senator herself. He's, he's a general. He should not be behaving like that. Shaira. Well, and he's con and she's convinced her of such. Like so or, sorry, so. she's convinced him of such. Mm -hmm. I got their genders backwards for some you know, reason. You might make a good general yourself one day. Can you be a male shepherd in like the first game and the second game? Can you change your gender to a female, or do they lock your gender for your, for carryover saves? I don't know, actually. It'd be interesting if they'd actually allow you to play oh, as a transsexual. Woman. Oh, no, 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 you can't. Apology, you can't, because that would really mess with the romance options. Oh, yeah, you're right. right now. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort <clears throat> and her relationship to me? I love Elcor. <laughs> they make me so I happy. I revealed your <laughs> secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. You are mistaken. See this here if you don't believe us. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. I'm trying to think of a funny Septimus secret you could have, but I, nothing's man. coming to me. It wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I These guys are too are adorable correct. to make fun of. <laughs> Thank you for this information. <laughs> Kinky, I have a whip in my back pocket. <laughs> I've been learning how to be a consort action. myself. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. <laughs> You're eyeing him rather Thankful. suspiciously. Oh, where are you that looking? That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. Oh, it was the other guy leaving. You were looking weird at that guy as he was leaving. You're just like, yeah, you better go. You better go. She was just following his you uh, disbelieving eyes. little shit. And this is oh, back in the concert chambers. We don't. Uh, do we swear on this? <laughs> I, I said fuck like three times. I oh, I haven't noticed. <laughs> Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Let's it talk payment. You. Oh. <laughs> you are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. Can we just have sex? I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding. A wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. You never hide your strength, either. It serves you well terrifies your foes few will dare to stand against you this may be who you are but it is not who you will become 
It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Um, thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. Oh, here we go. Awesome. <laughs> You're gonna give yeah. her fortune cookie advice for all the stuff she just did for you? Y you basically... <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elkor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. Fox News really what had a problem it? with the sex in this a game. Small mystery. That wasn't anything. I've never learned its use or purpose. Was a hand on glass. It was a hand on glass. Titanic had more now sex I than that. Ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Titanic fogged the glass. Take your sex and dildo and get the <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> they will give you strength. Okay, I explain something really quick. Um, in order to actually have sex with the Asari consort, you have to go. That's it. After uh, she gives you the like little poem or whatever she says, mm -hmm. because it was being nice my first playthrough, and I was like, "Oh, oh, oh thank you, thank you for all this." It was like, and I was like, uh, "I thought this was gonna go somewhere a little weird." And then I had a friend go, "Uh, just be like, is that all?" And she'll totally just go with you into the crazy disco uh, sex ball, basically <laughs> in the room. And then I was like, "Oh," so. Anyway, yeah, yeah, that happens way that was... earlier in the game than I expected, and I was like, oh my god. <sighs> it's really weird that, like, she is such a high status, like, in um, the Citadel, and everybody's like, you know, people wait months for her. And it, just imagine her pillow talk is just fortune cookie advice. And then she's like, it's like she doesn't even care. She's like, you're not here for this. You're here for the, you're here for, like, I'm gonna mind meld with you, and you're gonna, like, you know, you're gonna go to, like, uh you know, sex town, and that's that's what you're really here for. So I could say any kind of crap to you beforehand, and you're not going to care, because you won't remember. <laughs> or you'll think that it was the greatest thing I ever said to you, because you were so busy, like, being aroused. Oh my god! I just thought it was, like, really bad. Oh, she, she takes you into the bubble, and she's like, Shepard, a wise Asari once told me that scissoring is the true path to heaven. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry. Okay, give me a second. Oh, uh, anyway. <laughs>